Hello, I'm going to go over this worksheet with you, trilobites as index fossils. And I want to introduce this idea of an index fossil. Now, an index fossil is a term used in geology for certain types of fossils that are very common. So these fossils are found over many parts of the world. So a wide geographic distribution. They um, are found in a short vertical range, meaning um, my trilobite here. Uh, it's only found in this period of time. A different trilobite is found in another period of time, and another trilobite here is a different period of time. But they're, they're of a short vertical range, so you don't see the same trilobite for hundreds of millions of years. Um, and they have to evolve very rapidly, so this is a good example. This trilobite has eventually evolved into this other trilobite. So there's differences in their appearance. That's the evolutionary change. And index fossils let you figure out the place of these other fossils. So for instance, I've got a shark tooth and I've got an ammonite. Well, using our index fossils, our trilobites, we can get a relative age of where these other fossils are found. Like maybe this shark tooth isn't found anywhere but in this Canadian rock layer, right? It's not in the China rock layer or the South American rock layer. But based on where the trilobites are, you can kind of match it up to other fossils and other forms of life. So if you remember when we were talking about rock layers, for the most part, generally speaking, your... Um, youngest layers are on top, right? So here, here, here. And your oldest layers are on the bottom. So oldest, oldest, oldest. What I'm gonna want you to do is match layers from three different parts of the world. So Canada, China, South America. Well, when I'm looking at, for instance, I see this trilobite and I see another trilobite over here. So we think, okay, is this all the same age? Well, probably not, because we see two of these fossils that are not trilobites, and this fossil is in a younger layer. It's in the layer above this trilobite. So these three are not connected. In this particular case, to connect them across, I'd have to go and draw a line like this, right? these layers are connected. We don't have this missing layer for this one. It's just not part of the fossil record. And I want you to do that. I want you to go across and match up the correct layers. Some will only match up with, you know, two, and some will match all three across. But use the trilobites as your guide. They're gonna all be from the same rock layers. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. But again, you're just connecting these. If you see another one, like these two seem to match up, and you know that that fossil was found in a younger rock layer than the trilobite, you're going to connect those ones. Okay? That's it. So connect those up, um, and then answer the question, how do trilobites act? as index fossils. And that's some of the stuff that I just talked about earlier. Or of course, you could look that up. All right. Thank you very much.